Attention history buffs, join us on Thursday, October 10th for The Walk Where They Walked. Imagine stepping into the shoes of 17th century French Jesuits and meeting the Huron Wendat people. At Sainte Marie, among the Hurons, you'll dive deep into Ontario's rich history and uncover the roots of the Catholic Church in Canada. This isn't just a field trip, it's an unforgettable experience. Combining history, culture and faith, reflect on your personal journey while learning about Saint Jean de Brebeuf, a key figure in bringing Catholicism to Ontario. His missionary work with the Wendat people in the Huron region was instrumental in establishing the faith. Walk the same paths, enter the same buildings and feel the connection to our past. Dress comfortably for indoor and outdoor activities as you immerse yourself in this unique educational and spiritual retreat. Join us for the walk where they walked and witness history come alive. Good morning, SCM, and in particular, art students, or simply those who love art and want to share their talents. We have some amazing and exciting news for you. So listen up. The yearbook class is looking for help to determine what the theme should be for your upcoming yearbook. If you're interested, we are having a front and back cover contest. Simply create a front and back of your book. Please note that students must create a 9 by 12 page cover of their desired theme. The first prize winner will win a $100 gift card from Amazon, Lime Ridge Mall, or Maple View Mall. Second prize, a $50 gift card from Tim Hortons or Starbucks, a $25 Pizza Nova, Subway, Popeyes, or Paradise Subs card for third prize. And of course, our selected winner will have their cover featured in the yearbook. Plus, this is a great opportunity to work together with our class. All questions can be directed to Miss Sambuco by sending her an email or setting up an in time, setting up a time to meet a pers in person or on your lunch or spare. Lastly, be sure to follow STM underscore Squire on Instagram for more details regarding, regarding the, am the amazing contest. Remember, the selected submission will be also entered on into a national contest with Friesen's Printing Company. Thank, Thank you for Mr. Mr. Buka and, and the yearbook, yearbook class. Good morning, STM. My name is Felicia. And I'm Melagres. And, and we're, we're from, from the, the STM Diversity, Diversity Committee. Committee. Today, Today we lift the residential school survivor, Mona Stonefish, the healer. As a seven-year-old, she was taken from her family and spent several years at the Mohawk Institute Residential School in Brantford, Ontario, where she risked physical violence standing up, up, standing up to her oppressors. As a, as a result of this, she was sent to reform school. She was finally set free at the age of 21. Stonefish found resilience that has informed her life ever since. She dedicated her life to taking care of other people. The Erie St. Clair Local Health Interrogation Network credits Stonefish with saving lives through her volunteer work as a spiritual advisor in its cancer care program. Mohawk elder Mona Stonefish held tight to her language and culture, rather than letting past hurts destroy her. Here's a short video to celebrate Elder Mona Stonefish. The person who was most, as my hero, was my grandmother. And she would take me to pick, uh, pick medicines, take us to uh, plant gardens, and she showed us a lot of things. And if, when you're that young, you remember a few of the things. So she would take five or six of us so everybody would remember something. And the thing that she instilled in me most was to hold on tight to what is really ours, and that's the language and the culture. And she said, if you have that, my girl, nobody can stop you. You will go and go and open doors, and if they don't, if they don't open them, uh, go knock on another door. And that's what I've done, and that comes from my grandmother. My name is Matthew. And my name is Mia, and here are your announcements for today. Breakfast Club runs in the cafeteria on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 7.40 a.m. to 8 a.m. Stop by and grab some breakfast or snacks. With free fruit, muffins, and eggs, you'll be sure to start your day off right. Attention all cross-country team members. There will be a brief but important meeting after school today in the gym. There will be a diversity meeting today after school in the library. New members are welcome. Looking to get more involved in our school? Check out the club fair in the forum on Friday on your lunch period, where many clubs and activities will be showcased. 
Get Involved STM, brought to you by your STM prefects. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. I'm Sanaya, your grade 12 rep. I'm Nina, your junior athletic rep. And I'm Elisa, your senior athletic rep rep, and we're here for your student council announcement. STM, as you know, spooky season is fast approaching. Mark your calendars for October 30th because your very own student council will be hosting a Halloween dance in the cafeteria. This event is for all grades. Be sure to stay tuned for further information. This announcement is for grade 11s and 12s. Prom is around the corner and we have two themes, but it's up to you guys to choose. Make sure to cast your vote on our Instagram at stm underscore council. Remember that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can pick up your spirit wear for your first 30 minutes on, of your lunch period at the student council office. That's all for your student council announcements. Remember to follow us on our Instagram at STM underscore council for the latest and greatest updates and everything council related. Thank you, STM, and have a terrific Tuesday. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.21. And, and remember, remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a night. night.